What's up everyone, my name is Nigurk, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, I'm just gonna be upfront about it. This is my first time recording with someone else in the room. The girlfriend is trying to sleep and I'm gonna be loud and obnoxious. She might still be awake and hearing me say this, so it's gonna be super awkward for me and it's great. Alright, so we got the grave built for... who died? Oh right, the stupid, the stupid raider. Because Lagua exited the map healthy. Oh, we got some, we got some rep. We got some positive rep with the people of the Mesa. So, um, these people, they're still hostile. They still fucking hate me, but they kind of like me a little bit more. So yeah, this nerd is going to get buried at some point. Oh, the Mesa again. Hell yeah. So we only need to release one more person from the Mesa and we might not fully piss them off. Alright, and you're buried. Now... You know what? I really wish there was a positive moodlet for uh, burying someone. Just saying, that would be really nice. Considering I get a negative moodlet for killing them and butchering them and seeing them dead and all of that. It, it really sucks. It sucks real bad. Also, the name list got changed just a little bit because I forgot to include some people and I also added some people, so... If if your name was like in the series and then I you someone else is there, it weird shit happened. It shouldn't it shouldn't happen much. Okay, and right, I forgot to change people's restrictions. Mangarin. Unrestricted. Neurotic, trigger happy, and steadfast. Okay, so I've got this crappy little thing. I've got a little bit of blocks. We've still got a four and a half chance percent chance to recruit him. Research? It's not really happening because we don't really have anyone focusing on that. Um, I need steel. That's what I need. That's what I was going for, wasn't it? It's was steel. Uh... Like, there's that one, but that's really far. I think what I have to do is uh, mine it through a little bit. Like, just mine over here, just a bit. As well as mining in here a little bit. Nothing that's gonna, like, risk my um, security, like mining through this. But something like this isn't gonna allow them to come shit on me easily. Hopefully. It's, it's the goal. <laughs> it's to not die. Uh, and this is going to affect my temperature, isn't it? Just a little bit. I don't think it'll affect it too much, though. Yeah, I think this is actually going to be fine. And we didn't find any steel in all of that. So we're just going to check once more by doing this. And maybe over a little bit. But if there's nothing in all of that, then I don't expect to find any. Oh, we did- oh, we found steel. Nice. Okay, cool. Is there any over here yet? No. I do have a little bit of guns. Oh, right. Um, where could I put that? I need a little bit of heal root, which is uh, was known as Zerigium. And also, uh, how's my food doing just in general? I'm actually not bad on food. So I think what I'm going to do is double click this iguana. Cancel the hunt on him. And who is our hunter anyways? Wolf? Why are you hanging out in there? Oh, right, because I told you to tailor some stuff so that we could stop being naked. Oh, okay, I remember. Sorry, I'm trying to do the two-episode thing again, like I did before, because it's just easier for me. Where I'll record two at a time, and then see what you guys said, and then record two at a time again. So we got some heal root going on. So that's why I'm going to be forgetting things every, like, two episodes. We did get some pants made. Someone, I think, took them, though. Let's find out who took those pants. Uh, gear. Oh, Dromedary Leather Pants Superior. I think he took them for himself. And now we have some Iguana Skin Pants, so, um... Actually, everyone has pants. You have a shirt. You need a shirt. Yeah, we need to get to the shirts. But that is coming up after the pants. Like, after this one last thing of pants, we are doing some shirt. And Wolf, how's your tailoring going? Tent, you're actually pretty good at that. You're like really, really good at tailoring. 
mine out the steel. God, I would love like a real dedicated hauler, but I just don't have one of them yet. I have two people that are like prioritizing hauling, but not dedicated to hauling. Did we get our heel root planted? No. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's probably too late in the year anyways. I mean, it's already the second of summer. So it's probably too late for that to even be worthwhile, but what can you do? We do have some potatoes. Potatoes are going to be amazing. I shouldn't starve to death, ideally. Um, check out if there's any breeding going on. Break down electric stove. One of your machine's electric stove has broken down. It won't work until a colonist with the repair work type goes and fixes it. So that's a thing now. Um, yeah, that's actually a thing now. I don't know if I like that. Um, we're going to tell Peacekeeper to do it. Peacekeeper, go fix that. Now is it going to cost me components? 25 components. It It is going to cost me a component just to go fix that. Damn it. Oh, you shit. Okay, so that's... That's cool, that's alright, I guess. Yeah, um, how's the pants going? We got 56 worth work left on that. We have a decent amount of, um, stone bricks now, just sort of piled up, ready for me to craft stuff with it. And... Instead of all of that happening, here's going on and doing other things. Cool. I'm fine with that. So, after he does that, he goes and mines? Okay. I mean, it's not super, but it's something. What is that? That's jade? Well, I'm getting me some jade. And it appears to only spawn in like a one by one thing, so that seems like it's gonna be hard to find, and it might sell for a good amount too. But I think what I'm going to work on right now is... Okay, for a second I thought someone got shot. I think I'm going to work on expanding my stockpile just a little bit. I want this to have a little bit of space around it. Um, it was, what, six from every tile? One, two, three, four, five... Okay, that should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there would be a collapse here. So I'm just going to cancel this, in fact. Let's make it look a little bit nicer. And by nicer, I mean, well, it'll be okay. Let's do... Ah... Uh. I just want- I want some stuff that doesn't look the same as other stuff, you know? Uh, one, two, three... And then it goes over three... I don't know how I'm doing this. Yeah, that's something like that, and then that... And then all the way over to here... And then three... Um... <laughs> I don't know why I'm building like this. Like that, and like that. That might still collapse. But it'll look cool while it collapses. So once that gets built, I will start um, working on all the other stuff. And we're gonna... Claim it. Mangro, what's wrong with you? Hideous environment, cold, feeling bad, shared bedroom, and in darkness. Yeah, I kind of got to I kind of got to get you guys out of that bedroom, don't I? Um How am I going to do that? I haven't really thought through the uh housing situation so much. I guess structure, we could just do a little bit of slate. I guess it can sort of go like over here. So that's seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like a couple of rooms right there. But here's the issue, is they're going to wake up and they're going to be hungry and they're going to have to go all the way over to the food. Okay, so that's not good. Yeah, uh... I really made a mess for myself, didn't I, with this. I think the housing has to be over here. Which is kind of weird because of this. It's considered a mountain. So I'm going to have to build around that. I can kind of work with this, I think, though. What if... I think I might have it. We're gonna mine out that. And that. We're gonna work with it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got a strat. I got a plan. I got an itchy eye. Oh my god. There we go. McLean, you really need to get recruited. I'm sick of you. I'm so sick of you being a uh, prisoner in there. Might want to give them a table at some point, too, but whatever. They're fine. Did I ever get horseshoes? I don't think I got horseshoes in this one. Shit. Horseshoe. Right there. Right by the power cables. Croxatech is still making some bricks. We got a little bit of mining to do over here, but I would really honestly prefer that this one gets done so I can start working on the housing area. This will be kind of neat. I think I'll like this. Animals, we still... Oh wait, we don't. We don't have that. Did I...? Right, bonded animal sold. We almost have, um... We almost have that being gone. It's like three days away. We struck machinery. Right here. Interesting. <laughs> Not exactly where I wanted it. But I can work with it. There, get it. We have potatoes just sitting out here, not refrigerated at all, and yeah, this is this is literally just renames Origium. I I caught on to you. Um, I really hope this doesn't collapse. I don't think it will. I honestly don't think that it will. I just hope I'm right. Don't collapse. Don't collapse. Expand the stockpile. Don't collapse. Just don't collapse. Hey, we didn't collapse. Cool. Neat. So that's my stockpile now. That's... That's a cool thing. And I can also get a power production. It's in MISC. I don't have access to orbital trade beacons. Oh my god. Cargo pods, hello. I'm just gonna take all of that, don't mind me. That is some iguana skin. Cool. Are we done making, like, shirts and stuff? Oh, right, I need parkas because it's about to be cold. Oh, uh, Wolf is making the parkas now. Good. And I have it set to grab uh, leather from anywhere. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm gonna change that, even though it works out for me right now. Don't really want that happening all the time. I can't believe I don't have orbital trade beacons. Yeah, comms console, other research projects like tube television. Damn it. That's really unfortunate. Because it's supposed to be in MISC. I might make a party spot. <laughs> make it in the prison, just to taunt them. Okay, so we got this mined out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slate wall one, two, one. It's going to be like this, alright? This is going to be the hallway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
just like that. And then... Like that. Cancel one of these. There. That's the start of, like, our bedrooms. And then they will be inside, of course. And this is just to show me where I need to expand to in the future. Um... Yeah. I don't- I don't plan on, uh, making three rooms right now. Also, marble blocks. Let's get some doors in there. And let's look at everyone's social really quick, to see if anyone's, like, really getting friendly. So, Peacekeeper and Marcy are digging each other right now. Uh, Peacekeeper does not like Wolf or Mangarin. Cuz... Wolf is just that damn ugly. But, uh, Peacekeeper is also super, super digging Croc's attack. Okay. And Croc's attack- oh, Croc's attack and Peacekeeper. Oh. I see. Oh, rescue- oh, rescuing is one of the things! You can have, oh, you can have someone rescue someone else, and that's a positive, uh, social thing. Oh, that's cool, I like that. That's really neat. I think I'm gonna have to abuse that, like, a lot. Um, reinstall, can't really do it right now, because the walls aren't totally built. Why are the bricks going- oh, okay, that's the bricks from uninstalling the walls, I see. I was like, why are the bricks over there? But I understand now. You good building. You doing great. Got... F over 400 potatoes still. Good, good. Let's check the map to see if anything has, has been breeding well. Yeah, we got a few dromedaries over here. We got an iguana. Oh god, there's a bobcat. Or, there's a cougar. Oh shit, there's a cougar. We saw what happened with Sir Seth a lot last time. Um, what do I do about that thing? Do I try to hunt it? One colonist idol, Marcy. Oh, you dummy. <laughs> Don't do that, you dumb. He just got himself trapped. Like, I don't know if I try to hunt that thing or not. If that's even, like, worth it. Does Peacekeeper finally have a shirt yet, by the way? You should. You should have a parka. No? Did we just not finish the parka, or is it just not cold enough for a parka? We just didn't finish the parker yet. Damn it, wolf! <laughs> I need Peacekeeper to stop being naked. Peacekeeper is like a 15-year-old girl just being naked out here. Look at that. That's wrong. Uh... Oh! We got a new recruit. McLean is happy because of that ridiculous mood buff is super happy, has a Kevlar helmet, which is pretty sweet, and is going to be Waffles. Enjoy, Waffles. We're just gonna set him up really quick. Uh, you're an actually... you're passionate about being a warden. I'm not sure I'm gonna make you a warden, though. Um... You're not going to hunt. You're going to construct... and repair... <laughs> Just like everyone else. In fact, I think we'll just make you the a miner and then a dedicated hauler. In fact, we're gonna make you a cleaner and then a hauler. So clean everything up and then um, come back around and mine and then haul. Because this place is fucking filthy. There's blood everywhere. It's disgusting. Uh, less than 100 work left. Make that parka. And we got that jade. We really need to get some research going, though. For the, uh, comms console. So, Marcy? 
bump back down on research after you're done mining. Yeah, get get back on that research. Peacekeepers like hauling and stuff. So, oh right, we need a colonist bed. Technically, for right now. In fact, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna take one of the prisoner beds and make it like a real bed. Because I don't have that many prisoners right now. And it's a superior freaking bed. So that is Waffle's bed eventually. In fact, Waffle's... I'm just gonna make sure you know it's yours. <laughs> and he's gonna clean up the place that he's been living in for a while. How do you feel about everyone? You're actually pretty happy with that beautiful Peacekeeper. Everyone likes Peacekeeper just because she's pretty. Isn't that great? Isn't that great how the world works? Just, you got a nice butt and a nice chest and the world's just handed to you on a platter. I think I just said that. People that are pretty only have asses and tits. I'm pretty sure that's what I just implied. Um... Temperature in here is actually up. Um, it's considered refrigerated, not frozen. So, how's my power situation? If I add on a whole lot more power, we're gonna be in some real issues before I get geothermal, right? That's the that's the thing, is I honestly need to get the high-tech research bench. Which also requires power now that I think about it, so let's bump up our power before it becomes an issue. Um, the issue is, uh, finding a place to put it. I guess just, like, right there, and then getting another, like, two batteries? Why is that power conduit not there? It's supposed to be there. And then I think we're gonna also start replacing this wall. We'll probably do that when it's, um, cold outside. When it's, like, winter, we'll start replacing this wall, because it's gonna be frozen outside anyways. So we'll just do it on our own terms, right? And I believe now Peacekeeper might have a parka. No. Who got the fucking parka? Wolf, you took the parka too? Because it's not considered a shirt. Oh my god. You're such a greedy asshole. Make a t-shirt. Up. Do it three times. You're such a dick. She just wants a shirt, that's it. <laughs> she just wants to not have her tits out all the time, okay? Waffles bed. Um, Crocs attacks bed. Yes. We still have stuff to build with. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think. Solar flare, yeah. Uh, intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. At least it ain't toxic fallout. That stuff sucked. I played with that once. It was horrible. And I might actually get, like, a wind. Like, one wind like this may not be the worst idea. I'm trying to think if the power line is gonna connect right here, but if it does, I can work with it. I can just sort of, yeah, it's gonna connect hardcore. Um, deconstruct that, and that. And come up here, and power switch right there. That's how that's gonna work now. And also, um, power conduit, like, here. Good. Better. Solar flare is ending. I had to remember to turn this off while, um... Yeah, because the guns are going to start turning on, so I don't want those being on and sucking all my power. And potatoes and corn. Okay, just potatoes right now. Rice? Did I ever get any rice? I'm not even sure I ever got any rice. I think I've only gotten potatoes so far. Needs light level. You're needy. Why so needy? 
A group of travelers, that's fine. Research is almost done over here, and then I can get the high-tech research bench and move into geothermal to pick up this thing. As well as, wasn't there another one close to me? Like, right here is gonna be so good. Over there, I probably won't ever need to get that, but uh, defending these two will be relatively easy. I'm not gonna say it's like super easy, but it's gonna be relatively easy. Now we can deconstruct this, and production, marble high-tech research bench, which is enormous. My god, that thing is huge. There's a that's what she said joke in there somewhere. Yeah, that thing is just massive. Oh, well, we got some wind. And nothing is technically um, interfering with this as long as I don't build here or like right here. It will be fine. It's just... God, that's big. I'm going to prepare just a little bit more structure, I think. I'm gonna prepare... like this. And we're gonna mine out the non-crucial blocks right here, alright? Oh, and there's a raid. Perfect timing. And they're at the very bottom, and in fact, I'm just gonna leave it on the cliffhanger. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna make you wait for the future. My name is Nagurk, this is Rimworld, and thank you for watching.